See that sign? That sign says Charleston, Lime Kilns, Historic Villages, Hotels and Shops. And yes, we're almost here. And just in time for three o'clock. And there's some water down here. So this is probably the worst part of the five coastal walk so far. You're, you're walking next to this horrid road. But that's fine because we're about to leave it. <laughs> Look at this. Some water, some rapids. There's some heavy flow water there. We are almost in Charlestown. And we know Charlestown because we were just there but a couple of weeks ago. Last week actually. Two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Was it last week? Two weeks ago. Man, that doesn't seem like two weeks ago. So we are at the Scottish Lime Centre Trust. Mary Hill Training Centre. Um, we've just got pheasants kicking around. Here's Gary the pheasant. Gary! Gary the pheasant! He's pretty shy. I don't know if that's Gary or Bob. There's Sandy! Sandy! Sandy the pheasant! Here we are, we're on the road, the path to or into Charleston. Made it here and it's about five to three. Couldn't have timed this any better. Hotels letting us in at three. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited that the first stage of the walking's over. It's been an exciting day of walking and learning and talking and breathing and eating and drinking. Hello. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. You're beautiful. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hello. <laughs> Just another beautiful dog to add to my collection of beautiful dogs. I meet on my trips. Oh, by the coastal path. Nice. Right, so here we are in the stunning Charleston, where I was literally just two weeks ago doing an episode, um, and then the new owners of the Inn at Charleston contacted me and says, "Look, we hear you're doing the five coastal walk. We're about to reopen. Let's work together. Come and come and see us." You smell that? I can smell food cooking. It smells good. This is exciting. I think there's going to be a great atmosphere in this place. There's going to be lots of excitement. And look, they've got their new sign up. They have the new sign up. And I literally can't tell you how good the timing is today, right? We can check in from three o'clock. Look at the time. Look at that. We've just arrived. I'm excited. Um, and I'd never been to the Elgin Hotel as it was prior. Um, but I'd always fancied it because it was always nice and it looks over the water. Anything that looks over the water, for me, is tasty. Here it is, here. Chibet's now in charge of the sticks. Yeah. The Inn at Charleston. I couldn't ask for much better for our first night. Couldn't ask for much better. Ah, it's a beauty. Look at this. Um, you can come out here at some point in the evening um, and just think about my day. You could just chill here under the tree and look out over the water. I like this. Does it open up? Yeah, it's got storage in it too. It's a. It's got leaves. It's a leaf storage box. There you go. It's just a storage box for leaves. There you go. There you go. Maybe I'll leave a little ginger surprise in there for the next person. I don't know. Right. So, so we've got a key. We've met the owners. It's lovely. They've given us a wee tour up to our room, shown us where we are. We're in room four. Check this out. This is like Cribs. This is like Cribs MTV. Welcome to our room. Look at this bed. 
this is an absolute oh, it's good bed's good good bounceability look at this there's a bath there's a bath a big round tub <laughs> with the bed there and the telly there so look you can be in the tub and watch the telly or you can look out the window and get a sea view yes the inn at charleston have really really pulled out the bag this room is lovely look we've got everything we've got a mirror nice mirror we've got cupboards we've got a bathroom wow oh my god what is this the mirror has lights on it this is some high-end stuff new shower and we will be the first people staying in this room using this toilet using this shower using this sink all of this this is lovely real nice we've got towels we've got it all we've got it all have we got a bible we've not got a bible we've no we've not got a bible but that's fine that's fine we'll just get an online version if we need it and um, we're booked in for dinner this evening at half six so we'll try out the dinner see what's got see if we get any information it's got all the walks, the beach. You know, it's telling us what we can do here, which is great. This is lovely put together stuff. Fantastic. I love this. I'm going to have myself a big coffee. And look, we've got some oat crumble cookies. Chibetta will like that. She likes our biscuits in the morning. Yeah, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Night lights look perfect. Windows, as if we need to escape in case of a fire. Yep, I can open the window and escape in case of a fire. So, fire safe. Um, look, Fife Coast, there we go. We're right on it. There's the fourth bridges. Yeah, 10 out of 10 so far. I am excited. I'm excited. And after a long day's walk, you need a little bit of luxury. You need a bath. A bath like this. Well, anyway, I'll update you soon. Because I'm away to chill out and I don't think you want to see me in the bath. Or maybe you do. Who knows? So, um, this always happens to me in hotels. I'm trying to find my room and I get lost. But I think there's signs, but I've not got my glasses on. Oh. This place is fancy. Fancy, fancy. Now... Not only is this a special episode, episode 100, those who have watched from the start know that we've come a long way in Ginger Man. I'm going to take this off as we try and find room 5, or is it room 4? It's through here. So you'll know that we've come a long way on Ginger Man, so we've got a wee surprise this evening. Um, a friend is coming to join us in the hotel. Can you guess who that friend is? I'll give you a clue. Bearded, and he's a bit of a bam. Yeah, we'll be here in an hour, so I better get get back in my room. Room four. No oh, way, it's a key. It's a key job. So this is like um, back in the day when instead of having key cards, you'd actually have a key to get in your room. And there we are, we're back in. I've showered up, the shower was great. I'm saving the bath for later though. I'm saving the bath for later. Also, I'm just put on the, the telly here in Kennebel. What's happened to Warwick Davis? Top 10 countries beginning with P or Q. I, I don't have one. I'm just going to have to say Romania because I just don't Romania? That begins with an R. It's Romania. Oh. Oh, we're going to make a cup of tea in the inn at Charleston. Because after a long day's hiking, you need a fair trade organic black tea. And we can have this cup of tea and reflect on today. We started off at Kincardin at 9, we got to Charleston at 3. That was taking our time, we weren't really moving at any sort of great speed. One of these milks will do. Yeah, we weren't really moving at any great speed. Um, just taking our time, stopping off in Kouris, having a wee look around. Um, tomorrow we've got a wee bit further to travel. We're heading up to Kinghorn, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. That's tomorrow's episode.
Poirot. Right, okay, so I'm just going to give this a stir. It looks like a good cup of tea. I like it a little bit. A little bit dark. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man! Who's it going, man? I'm give over my important de details here. What could we have found? Bearded band. Can I put Bearded band down? <laughs> found the Hello! <laughs> Let's go and check out room five. I don't know if they've got the fancy bath. No, I'm coming, I'm joining your bath. Isn't it? <laughs> this is alright. You don't have the fancy bath. I know, I want the bath. They, they wanted the bath, they is don't it, get the bath. It's a room service, that's the Well, they've got a view. Ooh. So we've come out on the hunt for a toothbrush. Um, and the good thing about Charleston is it's got a village shop that we know about. It's open, but you're just like two in at a time. Who's wanting them first? Go. Just playing a game in the street at the village shop. Get some Charleston soap. Get some Charleston soap. So much soap. It's full of neural. Ylang and lavender. I like lavender with shea butter and essential oils. Ylang ylang. So it's called ylang. Ylang ylang. It smells like uh, it smells like my gran. <laughs> Stop sniffing your gran, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does smell like granny, doesn't it? <laughs> it's nice. No, not a bad granny smell. Like, <laughs> but grannies tended to smell like soap. <laughs> so we're now sit sitting down for dinner at the inn at Charleston. But due to Scottish, <laughs> Scottish COVID rules, we're not allowed to have alcohol inside, but we're allowed soft drinks. Why is that? Is it because when you're drunk that you're more likely to breathe? Oh, spit. You don't want my comments on the matter. Yeah, <laughs> keep, it, keep it non political. Uh, so here we go. It's all about choosing. It's all about choosing now. And I see a lot of things I'm interested in. Thank you very much. What's this? Chicken Bacora. Chicken Bacora. Right, there's an issue here though. Look, three. And there's four of us. That's okay. I won't have any of the Bacora, but I'll have like a bite of your chicken if that's okay. And then you guys get one each because Sorry guys, I'm diving right in. How is it? How's your haggis? Hot. Um, it's a bit bloody hot. It looks like the Beardy Bam has burnt himself on a haggis Bacora. Mm -hmm. Tasty though. I don't I can't taste my can't tongue. Can't taste it. Can't taste it from his tongue. We've got some spied onions there. So what we've got here is we've got mushrooms on croute, which is basically mushrooms on toast. And we've got some pâté and oat cakes. Also, we've got soup. A free bowl of soup. A free bowl of soup. Because I'm so pretty. <laughs> The, 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 the batter, the batter on the pakoras is tasty. The lightest batter I've probably had. It's the lightest light. batter. So light, so fluffy. Get some spice onions on that. This is good. That's really nice, I like it's that. It's really nice. This is mushrooms on croute. Is croute French for toast? I think so, yeah. It's like a sourdough bread. It's a sourdough bread. But no, on croute it's like, uh, is that because it's in a sauce? Like when you get chicken on croute, it's like a cheese sauce or something? I think. I might be wrong though. So it is main course time. Mark's burnt his mouth again. <laughs> for the second time. We've got some sweet potato fries, we've got some mac and cheese. We've got some chicken, peppercorn sauce, or some haggis in there, some veg, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's got burning. Keeps burning his mouth. There's a grouse coming to see us. Hey, old mate. I spotted something. Hey, Dave. Dave. Dave over here, Dave. <laughs> Dave. The new Elgin Hotel, historical and descriptive. This is lovely. Do you think this was the original building? Yeah. You'll be able to see the shape there if you go at the front, you'll probably see the shape of it. The new Elgin Hotel is of the third generation. No, don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with that. That's a lot of writing. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you thought someone watching is going, Oh, I wish you would bloody read the whole thing. No. So, 
come back in the pigeon. So we're just doing a little bit of exploring in the kilns. Um, the pigeons don't seem to be here today, which is great. And we were here a few weeks ago, but we're coming for an evening stroll after our meal. And it's just to show you, if you're on the Fife Walk um, and you're staying at the inn at Charleston, come down and check out the Lyme Kilns. Check out the Sleepy Harbour. You know, it's a very sleepy harbour. Look at this. Do you think someone's living on that boat? Look at this. It's a little bit windy, but, oh God. Just found Derek. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never guess what Mark's just found. Sorry, you'll never get. Ah, you can be called Mark. You'll never guess, right? So let's put, let's put this day into perspective. It's been a great day. A favourite thing has been found. We're, we're walking. This is a beauty. Have you seen this? Look at this. How did I miss this last time? Charleston is... I found two. I found two in Charleston last week. And this is unbelievable. What a find. Please don't die here. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. That's a good end. That's a good end. That's a good end. I give it a seven out of ten. Here, give me the, take the GoPro and do a. <laughs> there we go. Oh! 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 I'm busy looking at the camera. Oh! Oh! You missed that. Uh, the bearded oh. bam just took an absolute belter <laughs> into the tree. How was, how was it feeling? Oh. 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 This is a dangerous oh. one. Oh. 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 What am I going to do? <laughs> you alright? I look so sore. Is it really sore? Are you putting this on or is that really sore? Please move. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to turn them. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> See you oh, later. On the, yeah, you got a good shot this one, this is a classic. No, I hope I don't fuck Manny. Oh, there we go, that's a... What, what was that? English there? <laughs> Whee! I think Ginger Man's enjoying life too much here. Whee! Like, watch the tree. <laughs> watch the tree. <laughs> that was amazing. Did you see the height I got on that? Oh! Oh, that did hurt though. <laughs> This is the, see the final ever seen of Ginger Man, it'll just be that, an empty tree swing swinging with nobody on it. It's just an empty tree swing. Look at this through here, sorry guys. But, I think there's a pheasant. I think I've found a secret base in Charleston. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. See, if it was a bit warmer, we could have had a fire going. We could have had, this would have been a great place to, oh, what is this? Politics? What is a political party? This is someone's politics homework. This is what the kids are doing. They're burning their homework. What have we got here? When when the someone well that's a bad start. Taxes put certain races scared they would vote. Right, we're not going back to the hotel tonight, that's where we're staying for tonight. <laughs> yeah, man, we're the hotel. Out. Don't get the tent. So sorry to the inn at Charleston, we won't be back tonight, this is it. Right, so I don't know who owns this boat here at Charleston slash Lime Kilns. It's called Lavelle. It says it's called Lavelle. Lavelle. But I don't think, I don't know if anyone's having this. Ah, shit, that's why. It's got nails sticking out of it. All I can say is if you don't want a rusty nail in your finger, avoid this. Avoid. So, one of the, one of the most understated things in the whole of Charleston for me has to be the waiting benches at the toilets, at the public toilets. There's nowhere in Fife that's got this much of a waiting area, seated bench, as big as this. Look at the space! If there's someone in the toilet and you don't want to wait in a, a, a toilet for your shot on the toilet, come out and wait on this bench. Understated. Understated. Well done, Charleston. Another win. Hello, it's me, the Ginger Man, at the Inn at Charleston, opening on 26th of April. That's today. The Inn at Charleston, under new ownership. 
So look at this, right? So we've got, just to explain th this evening and how perfect it has been staying at the inn at Charleston. Great company, great food. Just had a walk around the, the harbour area. Fantastic. And look, we've got a bloody full moon. Well, from this angle, because the clouds, it looks like an under upside down half moon. So right now we have an upside down half moon, but it'll be back out as a full moon very soon. Hotel reception, or you can go to the inn at Charleston. Um, I think the inn you can go in just for the restaurant side. So if you're you're a weary traveller and you're not actually looking for somewhere to stay, but you're looking for a pint and something to eat, this is where you would come. You are entering a one metre zone. Maximum occupancy, 40 people. Please sanitise, hands on entering. Standard COVID. Standard COVID. Right, this is the hot water tap. Add that. Look how fast it's coming out. This is literally filled up in about three minutes. It's like a jacuzzi. This is the <laughs> this is the best way to end your day of walking in a very large bathtub in the middle of your room. Perfect. What a day. The bath is empty. Um, I'm absolutely exhausted, but what a great day. Starting off in Concordia, walking all the way to Charleston. It's a beautiful, nice, chilled walk. You know, you're looking at about three to four hours. But if you stop off in Charleston, if you stop off in Charleston, if you stop off in Kouris, it might be a bit longer. Um, and then by the time we got to the inn at Charleston here, brilliant, what a place, great hospitality, great service, great room, great food, great company, um, and just been absolutely fantastic. Um, I am absolutely burst after this bath, so if you get the inn at Charleston, you're looking to get yourself in room four, because it's fantastic, it's brilliant. Um, but aye, it's time to get some sleep tomorrow. We'll be moving on and we'll be moving to Kinghorn. We're moving on to the Bay Hotel in Kinghorn. Somewhere between Burnt Isle and Kinghorn area. But anyway, we're moving on to there. That's the end of day one. Amazing. And we'll see you tomorrow. Or if you're watching this, I'll actually I'll see you next week. Because anyway, it doesn't matter. It's been great. I'll see you later. Peace!